Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and this is Praise Song for the Butterflies by Bernice L. McFadden. This is the story of Abeo Kata who is taken into, thrown into a shrine and spends 15 years serving in ritual servitude in West Africa yes um and the horrible things that she experiences as well as her life before and after this servitude situation i read this in two days i would have finished this in one sitting if i had not started reading it at 10 o'clock at night and I had to force myself to go to bed at almost one o'clock in the morning. I absorb Bernice McFadden's writing and work. It's, it moves so fluidly and so quickly. And this is a short novel. It's less than 300 pages. I want to say it's less than 250 pages. Uh, yes, it is less than 250 pages and not one bit of it feels rushed you don't feel like you get too much time with one group of characters and not enough time with another you don't feel like you're missing like the the information that or the parts of the story that you are missing are parts of the story that you don't really need because you're given so much about experiences that are going on with a bail and it would really be overwhelming to get all of that in the story as well as the other things that you're seeing this is a heart-wrenching and heartbreaking novel um on the back someone says uh praise song for the butterflies will break your heart and then heal it and yes <laughs> i felt not necessarily connected to a bail but this is something the act of ritual servitude is something that I had heard of briefly but did not know how long it was a thing and like the idea that it could still be a thing in places in West Africa or Africa period is very disheartening and very sad for what these people experience and what's done to them. I enjoyed the camaraderie between some of the characters the relationships that you get and the people that you're getting to understand uh there are a lot of people in this novel that you don't like um, the relationships that it shows you between men and women as well as between women and women but how women relate to and act towards each other and how little women are valued how much female suppression is in place and that there are women who support it by the things that they do and the things that they say and the suggestions that they make this was awesome there were so many things in this novel i did do a little bit of tabbing as i was reading it because there were so many things that in this novel that were poignant phrases or were characters that i was just like you are just an ass and i just wanted to make note of the fact that that character was an ass or that something was not okay and i wanted to make note of the fact that it was not okay um i just i am i thoroughly enjoyed this if you're not aware this is like a jacked up review <laughs> but if you're not aware this is a re-release of a previous novel called my name is butterfly by bernice mcfadden and she basically went back to that novel did some more editing did some more filling in for the story changed the names of the characters i think and then produced this i don't know if my name is butterfly is still available I'm going to check because I want to read it and see what the differences are between the two the two stories and like what was developed in this story that she felt was incomplete in the first story. Because I still really think that what feels incomplete to Bernice L. McFadden is going to feel great to me <laughs> because I just I love I have never been disappointed by a Bernice L. McFadden novel. And I will say the problems that Abel faces are 
astronomical. And one thing that I did not like, not about the novel, but about the characters and some of the characters in the novel is the act and idea of trying to equate hardships. Like, yes, you dealt with this difficult thing, but I've dealt with difficult shit too. And you can't equate someone else's hardship to your own hardship because your own hardship is hard to you because you experienced it. But when someone has a hardship that you can't imagine experiencing, it doesn't equate. And you know it doesn't equate. But then even if you don't know the details of the difficulties that someone else has gone through, you just you can't just take it and say, well, I've, I've had hard times too because... Your hard times were handled by you, how you deal with it. And their hard times were handled by them, how they deal with it. We deal with things the same. We experience, excuse me. We deal with things differently. We experience things differently. And attempting to equate or qualify someone else's difficulties in light of your own difficulties diminishes that experience for that person and what it does is makes that person stay away or take a step back from the relationship that they have with you I don't know why I decided to put that in here but it's staying I loved this book and I'm so glad that I tabbed it as I was reading it so that when I read it again, I can just go through it because that's that's going to happen. So, yeah, if you have not picked up a Bernice L. McFadden book, just do it. Pick a book. Any book. They're all good. <laughs> that's all that I have for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.